back to my little airplane. My name is Michelle Thompson and I am currently at the Munich International Airport getting ready to fly to Amsterdam. Hi, I cannot wait. I have been to Amsterdam before but that was like five or seven years ago. So I'm looking forward to revisiting the city, relearning about the culture, trying the new food, and you know, exploring the amazing canals in the city i cannot wait even though i have been there before i always like going back to the cities you know to relive the experience that i went to who knows maybe even gain new experiences in cities i've been to so i'm really looking forward to that it is right now oh, 6 5 in the morning i decided to take an early flight so i can get as much done and see as much as i can well i'm really looking forward to this trip is seeing the windmills I want to try the cheese. I don't think I've ever tried the Dutch cheese. So that's something new to look forward to. I am really excited. I cannot wait to share my adventures with you. Let's get this trip started, shall we? I left the airport, took a train to the place I was staying at, and then took the train again to central Amsterdam in order to take my first tour of the city. This tour is called the Free Dam Tour. I'm not being sponsored or anything, just so you know. I just thought I'd mention it. it as you can guess, it is for free, and you can pay the tour guide a big tip depending on how well you think he or she did. It is important to reserve your spot for these tours because they can be full quick. As you can tell here, it's a huge group. Some of these people haven't reserved yet, so the tour guides are telling them to reserve for the next spot of the tour, which is, I think, at 2, and then they have another one later in the evening. Let's get this tour started, shall we? And yes, in case of you're wondering, this umbrella has the map of the city of Munich. It's a very good quality umbrella, and just think of it, I can never get lost. I think you should definitely come to visit Amsterdam because there are beautiful things to see but also you know there's a lot of tolerance lots of different cultures in one place um, lots of history to tell you make sure you come over to Freedom I'll tell you all about it if you want uh, there's a big gay scene here lots of parties definitely uh, there's a great really exotic language that we speak with a lot of <laughs> if you want and um, for food stay home maybe uh, <laughs> But there's lots of other cultural foods that you can get here, just not our food, that's not very nice. But make sure you come over. Um, Marcella here, you show your name tag again. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Did a really good job, taught us a lot of things. Even, like I've been to Amsterdam before, like years ago, but you told me things I have never thought Amsterdam has ever I'm been. I'm so glad, I'm so exactly. glad to hear that. Very unique experience, so it's definitely worth it. I'm not being sponsored, just letting <laughs> everyone know. And just, it's worth mentioning in this video. It was a great experience. Thank you so much again. No troubles at all. No troubles. Woo! <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah? You. So that was a fun and exciting experience. We walked around the red light district. We talked about how Amsterdam was open for any religion. Talked about the laws and marijuana and stuff like that. Also talked about the history in trade and other things. It was really fun. I highly recommend it. I'll put a link in the description below so if you ever decide to visit Amsterdam, which I highly recommend, you should definitely check out Free Dam. Next on the list is visiting the Royal Palace, which is this amazing building right here. The famous historical building is in use by the Dutch royal family and it is available for the public to visit as long as the royals are not using it. If you want to see more of the pictures, be sure to check out My Lil Airplane in Instagram. There I'll be posting all my pictures of my adventures here in Amsterdam and future adventures around the world. So today has been a fun and productive day. I woke up super early to get to this beautiful city. I made it in time for my tour around the city, which was very informative, very entertaining as well. And I got to tour around the amazing Royal Palace here in Amsterdam. So what I'm planning to do for the rest of the day is to do some shopping and look around some buildings. It's a small city, but there's a lot of history and a lot of cool stuff around here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Until then, I will see you tomorrow in the same vlog, so don't go anywhere, all right? Hey, 
everybody. Um, so, change of plans. I decided to do this boat tour tonight since I thought it would be the best time to do it because I wasn't sure how the weather was going to be like in the next few days. So, I decided to go on this open boat canal cruise to see the Light Festival, which happens every December and January. I thought I'd do it today because I wasn't sure how the weather was going to be like the next few days. So, why not? I just finished the boat tour. I'm not cold. Yeah, the shivering. It's shivering of excitement. Ah, oh, pretty lights. Awesome tour. Okay, I admit it, I'm cold. Ha ah, time to run over to the apartment. <clears throat> so that will conclude day one of my trip in Amsterdam. Stay tuned, because in just a few seconds, I'll take you to day two. See you there. morning and welcome to day two of my trip here in Amsterdam. As you can see, I'm right in front of the museum known as the Van Gogh Museum. Vincent Van Gogh was the famous painter in the Netherlands and that has his own museum. He completed more than 2,100 works with oil paintings, watercolors, drawings and sketches. Looking through the life of famous Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh, I am just gonna walk around the Museum Plein, which is where I am right now. Let's continue on with this vlog, shall we? So right now I'm waiting in a tram, getting ready to head over to the food hall in here in Amsterdam. There's a huge hall full of restaurants, like Asian restaurants, Dutch restaurants, of course, German restaurants, Mediterranean restaurants, and so much more. So I thought this would be the good place to go to for lunch, which is good timing now because I'm getting really hungry. So let's see what they got. I decided to go for this Spanish ham sandwich. I guess the Latina in me just craved for some good Spanish ham. Oh god, it looks so good. It has some, some tomato sauce and olive oil. This place has everything. Some places are a little bit pricey, but the food quality is, in my opinion, just as worth it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude my vlog for the first two days in Amsterdam. I have learned a lot these few days about Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and their culture. It's been pretty amazing. I can't wait to continue with that adventure in the next few days. What you can look forward to in the next video is me trying some cheese, Dutch cheese, and visiting the windmills north of Amsterdam. A trip in the Netherlands is not complete without visiting the windmills, and that is a fact. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can join me in my future adventures here in Amsterdam and of course my future adventures around the world. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook accounts. The links are in the description below. I hope you have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video.